Sound is a mechanical wave. When you are in a concert and the music is very loud, you can feel your chest vibrating. Basically, we are taking advantage of this force, manipulating ultrasonic sound waves to make the particle levitate. Each of these elements is a tiny loudspeaker and we control very finely what they are playing. If you are careful, you can make all the waves to reach the particle at the same time and make it levitate. It was well known, even since the 30s, that acoustic waves could create a, a radiation forces. And even from you know, 30 years ago, people have been using acoust acoustic forces to levitate things. The real novelty of this work is that we only need one side, a device with only one side. Previously, you needed two devices, so the levitated particle had to be enclosed by the acoustic elements. Here, for instance, imagine that you wanted to levitate something inside your body. So with this, you could apply a one-sided device on your body, as you would do with an ultrasound scanner. It would be any particle that is inside your body. And you can manipulate it without the necessity to create any cut or intervention. So the device, it's mainly composed of ultrasonic loudspeakers. This computer is running a simulation that tells the driver board what uh, kind of sounds should be played at each speaker. By controlling the sound for each loudspeaker, we can move the particle around. For instance, now the computer is calculating what must be played on each loudspeaker to levitate the particle at the target point and then sending these waves to the loudspeakers. The acoustic field is the amplitude of the sound, like how powerful, or if we could hear it, how loud it would be. The particle will be trapped in regions of very low amplitude surrounded by high amplitude. The main way of visualizing the acoustic field is through a 2D acoustic slice of the amplitude, which is nice and it's the common way, but it's not very insightful, especially if you need more information about the 3D field. So another technique that we have developed here is the isosurfaces. And we can observe the 3D acoustic field as if it were a hologram. Currently, we are able to levitate polystyrene beads, and they have a diameter around two millimeters, but we hope to levitate something much smaller, for instance, cells inside your living body, or also much bigger, like a soccer football.